Hello my Sagittariuses and welcome to your full moon. Well, welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and I am Debbie. And like I said, this is your full moon. We are reading from June 2nd through the 8th and the moon will be in your sign all nice and beautiful on the 4th. Now I'm kind of getting, you know, the rock the boat, don't rock the boat baby, but also I'm also getting the, you know, I'm not going to sing that song to you, but I'm also getting um, It Is Your Time to Shine. So enjoy this. Embrace this opportunity and really get out there and be strong. Now, the other thing is, remember, um, I do my video, my overview, be ready. Things are happening. Lots of weird energies going on. As we all know, we can feel it. We're shifting and we continue with these shifts. But fire energy is very strong and you're leading that. I'm kind of getting leading the pack. So I'm getting all of these uh, older song references for you. Remember, these are general readings that may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. If we go back to this, um, the full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. A full moon energy in itself. Sur surrender to the divine. But again... It is your time. It is your turn to shine. Remember, it is a good time to release, relinquish, and request. I feel like it also, right after the full moon and after, if you're about to start a new venture, I really feel it's going to be very, very positive. Not saying you can't get ready, but I feel like when the vent, when it all starts, it's like the grand opening. I'm getting very, very positive vibes for your full moon, my Sages. And again... It is a weird energy time. So that one's popped. It is reversed. Let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you have? What else? Grand opening. The grand opening for Sagittarius. Is. It's time. Shine, shine, shine. Okay, let's see what we've got going on. Everything is reversed. So it's like pay attention my Sagittarius is. Okay, first card reversed again. Six of Ariel. Money is coming in. Unexpected money, gifts of money. I love this energy. So six is the number of man. It's the energy that man or you put into something. Ariel is our earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's a lot more Virgo going on than there is even Gemini going on. So there's a lot of earth energy, especially this weekend. Uh, or going into this weekend and it going into your full moon. So it, it, it's an interesting mix to have this earth. So money, job, career, also about your home. But this is unexpected money. This is, be, like I said, time to shine, time to, um, you know, grand opening, good, you know, whatever you've been investing. And I, again, I don't do financial advice. So I'm not, I'm saying whatever you've been putting your energies into, it, there's a good return on investment with it. So, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So, six of earth, six of pentacles, unexpected money coming in. Next card, reversed again, the page of Gabriel. So, page's underlying energy is earth. So, you know, we have our Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, money, job, career. But Gabriel energy is fire. That is yours. Leo, Sag um, also Aries energy. Your energy is so strong right now. Also, Leo energy is going to give you a really big push to move forward. Mars is in um, Leo, and it's really going to be a big push for you to go after things, go after your dreams, go after what it is you've been wanting. Very positive, um, very, you know, like I said, um, you know, is it don't rock the boat, baby, or rock the boat? I'm getting rock the boat. I know it's don't rock the boat, baby, but it's rock the boat. You be you, my Sages. You, you embrace the opportunities. You embrace the adventures, okay? So, like I said, time for you to shine. Energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. So we have that six of Gabriel, of Ariel. We have this mixture of fire and earth. And now our last card here reversed. The king of Gabriel. So the king's underlying energy is air. Air, um, 
Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, thought processes, thinking things through. So Pluto is still in Aquarius right now, but it's about to switch over, and things are about to get a little bit more hands-on. Um, we also have, we're in Gemini season, but again, not a lot of Gemini energy going on just yet. I mean, we're in the season, but not a whole lot. But then we have that fire energy that's over, you know, that's overtaking it. It's your energy again. It's looking at the big picture. You're this big picture person right now. Grand opening. I keep seeing grand opening. I keep seeing the banner. Things are happening. Think, you know, you are, you know, you are, you know, going out there. You're actually not as shy as you might want to, might, might have been. You're a little, you're a lot more bolder. You're a lot more um, energetic with the changes that are happening with you. Does feel like it could be about money, but you know, but it's also about your passion. It's also about what makes you just feel feel good about yourself. Okay, so the King of Gabriel is also the big picture. You know, is the big picture person. Doesn't really worry about the details. So, you know, and the big picture right now is a good return on investment. Generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. But the one thing about leaving the details to others, I'm not going to say micromanage, but you do want to be able to hold, hold them accountable should you need to. Experience that leads to success. You are so ready for whatever this change is. But also there's a genuine concern for others. So there's a caring here too. It's not all about you, but it is it is about being successful. There's a successful energy all around this for you, my Sagas. So this is a good week. Good week to make some changes, make some starts. Again, I would say, well, maybe even on the fourth, fourth, well, you can always start before. So maybe on the second even. But I kind of feel like the outcome is seen more like the fourth, fifth. So let's see. Higher power. What else do we have for our Sagittarius? Okay, that one popped. Well, that's a good one to pop. This is considered, and again, it is reversed. This is the wish card. The nine of emotion, nine of cups, nine, let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Remember Cancer, I mean, the, the moon is something that affects the water energies. A lot of Pisces energy going on also. But the nine of emotion tells you this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are your just reward. Remember, return on investment for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. So don't be dour. <laughs> have smile a little bit enjoy enjoy the successes here we go let's see inspirational wisdom fairies and angels let's see what we have higher power what else would you like to give to our sages what else do we that do our sages need to know what else what else what else here we go here we go here we go again reverse so everything was reversed wasn't it Garden of the Sun and Moon. Wow, fire and moon. The change you seek may be outside your comfort zone. Ask for the strength to help you move forward. Oh, sometimes we're a little bit afraid of, you know, wishes coming true. So ask for help to move forward. I like that too. Okay, let's see. Crystal or energy for my Sages? What do we have here? What do we have for our Sages? What else? What would be helpful for our Sagittarius? Let's go through. Oh, turquoise. Hmm. Leadership qualities, clear communication, prosperity, and success. I like that. Okay, so we saw the... the um, Moon cards, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius, surrender to the divine is about the full moon. Let's see what we've got going on here. Higher power, Holy Spirit. With these cards, what else? What else is there? What else is there for my Sagittarius's? Time to shine. Time to shine. Reversed again. Okay, full moon in Pisces. Now this did pop out for somebody else, so... 
you know, if you do cross-watch, you may see this again. Take it as a message. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay. So, my Sanchez, I felt very upbeat with yours. You're, I love your energy. You gave me a lot of energy back. So, thank you for that, my Sanchez. Time to shine. Okay. <sighs> let's, let's, let's do that. All right. My Sanchez, do me that favor. Go down, like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. It helps. As always, though, my Sagittariuses, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.